Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about what is context free grammar and context free languages with one example problem in theory of computation and finite languages and automata theory. First of all, what is the definition of context free grammar? Context free grammar is one type of grammar that can be defined by using four tuples. That four tuples are V, T, P and S. These are the four tuples. V is nothing but finite set of variables that can also be called as non-terminals. T is finite set of terminals. P is finite set of productions where each production is in the form of A dense to alpha. Here A dense to alpha means where A always belongs to non-terminal capital V and alpha belongs to set of terminals and non-terminals including epsilon. V is nothing but set of non-terminals. T is nothing but set of terminals. V union T is nothing but union of non-terminals and terminals including epsilon. Okay, the left hand side compulsory contains a non-terminal symbol. It should be only one non-terminal on the left hand side. The right hand side contains a combination of terminals and non-terminals including epsilon with any occurrences. So, this is the production of context free grammar should be in this form. Next one is yes is nothing but start symbol. It is also belongs to capital V. Capital V is nothing but set of non-terminals. So S is also a non-terminal. So this is the simple definition of context free grammar. Next we can go for one example of context free grammar. Here S tends to 0 A B 1. A tends to 0. B tends to 1. Here how we are representing this grammar by using this four tuples where V is nothing but set of non-terminals over our variables. So what are the non-terminals are there? So A, B. So these are the two non-terminals in this grammar and T is nothing but set of terminals. Terminals are 0, 1 and next one is S is a start symbol. So this is also called as a non-terminal. Okay. Next one P. P is nothing but set of productions. The productions are S dense to 0, A, B, 1 and A dense to 0 and B dense to 1. So these are the set of productions in context free grammar. So every context free grammar can be represented by using these four tuples. V is nothing but set of non-terminals that represents the uppercase alphabets that is A, B and S is also called as a variable or non-terminal. T is nothing but whatever the non-terminals are there that can be removed. The remaining symbols are terminal symbols. T is equal to so 0, 1. Next, S is a start symbol. 
every context free grammar should start with a start symbol that is a s and these are the three productions in the context free grammar so now what is the language that is generated by this context free grammar so, s tends to 0 a b 1 now we are substituting 0 in the place of a by using this production so then what we are getting 0 in the place of a we are substituting 0 b 1 so the production we have to use here is a tends to 0 next one in the place of b we are substituting 1 by using this production so that is b tends to 1 in the place of b we are substituting 1 here 1 so this is the terminal string we are getting so this is called as context free language the language that is generated by using the context free grammar so that language is called as context free language simply what is language a language is a set of strings where each string containing only terminal symbols okay so this is the string contains only terminal symbols 0 and 1 by repeatedly substituting productions a tends to 0 and b tends to 1 from the start symbol yes so that language is called as context free language a language that is generated by using the context free grammar that language is called as context free language where a language context free language is a set of terminal symbols set of strings of terminal symbols that can be produced from the start symbol yes using the productions as substitutions okay this is the terminal string consists of zeros and ones that can be obtained from the start symbol s yes, by repeatedly substituting the productions a tends to 0 and b tends to 1 so whatever the string that is generated that is called as a language that language is generated by using the context free grammar then that language is called as context free language that can be denoted by cfl now we can go for this definition a language generated by a context free grammar is called as context free language that can be abbreviated as cfl so here in the cfl what is language the language generated by a cfg is the set of all strings of terminals set of all strings of terminals this is the terminal string that can be produced from the start symbol yes this terminal string that can be obtained from the start symbol yes using the productions as a substitutions so these productions we have to substitute after that we are getting the strings of terminals okay so this language is called as context free language this language is generated from the given context free grammar so context free language is simply meaning that set of strings that contains only terminal symbols that are generated from the start symbol s yes, by repeatedly substituting the productions in the given grammar that language is called as context free language 
that can be denoted by CFL. Okay, so this is the formal definition of context-free grammar and this is the definition of context-free language and this is the example of context-free grammar. So in the context-free grammar, the left hand side compulsory contains a single non-terminal, single non-terminal. Otherwise, it is not a context-free grammar. The left hand side compulsory contains a single non-terminal or a single variable. Right hand side, it may contain a combination of terminals and non-terminals including epsilon. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. If you like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts after subscribing my YouTube channel. So Divvela Srinivasarao. So thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.